Dr. Gray, I don't mind living in the country. You see, this is exactly what I want to do. Most people my age prefer the rush of the ER. Hospice care is not that. It's not about developing skills. It's about compassion. And I don't think age has anything to do with that. I just, I think I have something to offer, that's all. That will be all, Miss Collins. Someone. You start on Monday. Thank you. Is the head nurse still on duty? No. Nurse Baker retired for the day. Oh. It'll be nice with some decorations. Yeah, it has potential. Are the, um... The other nurses' rooms on this floor? No. Nurse Baker's room is on the other side of the complex. The rest of us don't live here. If you need anything, I'll be at the nurse's station down the hall. Have a good night, Maggie. Thank you, you too. Margaret Collins. Uh, good morning, Nurse Baker. Good morning. Um, actually, I go by Maggie. I see. Follow me. Wow, even Paul is older than you. I can't believe they haven't redesigned those cabs. Is Harrison still the head of the nursing program? Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I don't have a thing to worry about. Miss Collins? I want you to read over all the files. 
I'm very interested in hearing your full assessment by, shall we say tomorrow, 8 a.m.? I'm so glad you're here. I hope she gives us a break. But I'm sorry, <laughs> what were you saying? Must be Maggie. Yeah, you are. Uh, Dr. Gray. I'm the medical director here at the home. Gray, like Dr. Robert Gray? Yeah, he's my father. Hmm. You know, I, I need to change Stephen's uh, prescription. Do you have his file in here? Yeah, hang on. Here it is, yeah, Stephen's. Thank you. Yeah. I'll see you around. Miss Hill, it's time for your medicine. Hello, dear. Do I know you? I'm Maggie. I'm new here. Maggie? Meet my daughter, Dolores. Hello, Dolores. How are you? You're not taking them. You're not ready. Arrange for pickup with my secretary. What are you doing? I need to finish my work. I'm a dentist. Please leave. It's okay, sir. I'm just taking these to be finished at the lab like you ordered. Jenny? Yeah. Oh, I forgot they were supposed to be delivered today. Thank you. Hey, remind me to give you a raise. Okay. No, just because Maggie is here doesn't mean you have more free time, George. Yes, ma'am. You leave me? I'll make sure the floors are clean by the morning. Thank you. Please help Maggie prepare the cart for the next shift. Yes. Hey. I can do it on my own if you want. No. No, it'll make me happy to help. What do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, I came to return these. A patient took them by mistake. I'm a nurse here. You're lying. You're one of those Nazi scum. Uh, I can see it written all over your face. Mr. Stevens, I'm a nurse here. Please, Mr. Stevens, let me go. Hey, Stevens! God's sake, stop it! Get the DS a pencil. Where is it? It's in my pocket. Hurry. You gotta stop this. Help me get him on the bed. Most of us would be covered in scrapes, but if you care for it properly, look, not a mark. I just never imagined that what I learned in the war would be useful in a nursing home. But I guess you'd be surprised. Is he military too? Stevens? The man is a legend. He and my husband served in the same battalion in Korea. 
Stevens came back. She always this violent. Well, post-traumatic stress disorder in old age, uh, don't mix well. Acts up when you least expect it. The flashbacks, the hallucinations. And now his legs have started to atrophy because of the continued restraint. So, um, Ed wants him active, which is a, it's a problem for us. All right, don't move. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. Thank you. My pleasure. You know, Edna was so great with Stevens. She just... She had a way with all the patients. Well, I'm sure you'll learn. Smells good. Uh, do, do you want some? Oh. No, no, I'm. Don't worry. I, uh, want my own dinner. There's plenty if you do. Sure, I'll have some. Sometimes you just crave, you know? Paula, you're taking the east wing to the yard today. Can Anne do it? No, I did it the last time. It's your turn. Oh, come on. Look, Paula, it's your turn. <coughs> Miss Hill, you're barely covered. Didn't Paula come in? My chest hurts.
Look, Mattel. Dolores. I just want to hold her. I miss her so. What do you think he's gonna do? I guess Nixon has to surrender the tapes. Oh, I don't think he's gonna. This is all very surreal. Can't imagine something like that happening here. Other places maybe, but not here. Hello, ladies. Hi, Ed. Oh, no, not you too. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you're in denial. Yes, you are. <laughs> um, I, uh, I bet Nurse Baker probably has her notes done, so we should probably go. I'm on my left. See you later, maybe. Were you jogging again, Charlie? Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope this doesn't deter you from exercise. Oh, I don't know. I, I think maybe I should really let it heal before I go jogging again. Well, you can always go for a walk or dance in the rec room. Well, I'll go dancing with you, Maggie. Sure, Charlie. <laughs> um... I'm a pretty bad dancer, I should warn you. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. So, tomorrow then, we have a date? for girls. It's okay. No more dancing for me, though. God, I feel so bad. Don't. He had fun. Do you want to head back there? Maggie. Could you please do the med rounds again today? I gotta go to Bumby's Hardware, get some wire. You take Paula with you, but you're in charge. Wire? Yeah, for my bonsai. Oh, it'd be good to rush Shelby. He's my favorite. See ya. Would you mind doing this by yourself? I, I was supposed to check the uh, new medication this morning. I'm running behind. Um, yeah, no problem. I can do it. Do you want Anne to help? I can ask. Um, no. I'll be fine by myself. Thanks, Maggie. Good morning, 
Mr. Shelby. <laughs> my, my, my. You look very sharp today. Oh, hi, my dear. Where's Nurse Baker? Oh, she had to go to town, but she told me to take very good care of you. Oh, she always takes good care of me. Could you do it on the right side? Uh, <laughs> Nurse Baker's been bumbling the left side, and I, I think it needs a little break. Of course. Mm. No problem. Okay. Okay, that should be good for today. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. You're Hello, Maggie. Hi. How are you? Good. So, uh, how come you got to escape your nursing duties this afternoon? Oh, Baker's back. So are you free, or you have to get back? Um, I'm not on duty until tomorrow. You want to have dinner then? Sure. So, why, why Moss Oak? It's a good job. It's the only place that would pay that well for a recent graduate. You have, like, student loans? Um, no, when my grandfather passed, I was left with some unexpected bills. What, like, like medical bills? Maybe there's a way that my father can help? He was a gambler. And you don't have any other relatives? He took care of me after my parents passed. Wow. Sorry. No, it's okay. I was young. We had this uh, small citrus farm. And this barn filled with books. So I kept myself pretty entertained. So, Ed, tell me, um, why did the former assistant head nurse quit? Edna? Uh, uh um, um, she didn't. She, uh, she passed away. How? She, she had a falling out with Baker, and she, uh, she suffered from depression after that. You know, which I, I treated her for, but it just never seemed to get any better. And, uh, she hanged herself. Nurse Collins, wake up. Wake up! Wake up! Did you complete work on this file yesterday? Of course. Did you give this patient an insulin shot? Yes. Does it say to give him an insulin shot? I don't understand. I read it twice. Was Paula with you? No, she said she was behind on the prescription inventory, so I did it alone. I mean, it was written here clearly. Well, now Roy Shelby's in a coma. I don't understand. There must be some kind of mistake. Your mistake? Listen to me, and you listen carefully. I'm not going to report this. No one else has seen these files. But you better pray that Rush Shelby gets well. Just be great. Do your job. And collect yourself.
Shelby wake up? Sorry to interrupt. Could you get Mr. Shelby's family contact number? Shelby? Baker's out, so we have to call the family. He passed? Yeah. I suspect water in the lungs. It's your first one, isn't it? I was just with him yesterday. It's always hard when your first patient passes. It's okay. It was the same for me. You collect yourself. You contact his family. He had a son in Texas. There you go. You get used to it. took him away, Ed called it. Nothing out of the ordinary. Why are you doing this for me? You should report me, you should, you should fire me. I was your age once. I know you didn't mean to hurt him. Maggie, we have to stick together. You have a brilliant future here. Miss Baker. I know what I'm talking about. Now I can live with this. Can you? I don't know. Well, you better make up your mind fast. There's no turning back, you know. Can you continue your work here or not? up. Get some rest. Please kill me, Jenny. I'm sorry. Look at them smiling big. That's because of you. Sometimes it just seems like too much. You have strong shoulders. So do I. There has to be a reason we're both stuck here. People need me. I mean, you need me. 
You might be just a simple secretary somewhere else. Instead of my assistant. Mr. Solomon. Just smile, that's it. And about that raise, it's just not happening. Business is slow. Maggie, can you help me with Rollins? Stevens is throwing a fit again, and I cannot get to both. Mr. Rollins, are you okay? They go out. My dentures are so tight. Take them out. Take them out, please. They're out, Mr. Rollins. They're out. No, 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 no. His mitten strap is just too easy to undo. Why don't you come with me? I want to show you something. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right. Let's just check this out. Uh, As you can see, this patient is always in pain. Her daughter came to visit her once in the last four years. And what I need you to do is inject right in the oh. center. It's gonna just pinch oh. for a second, Martha, and then you're gonna feel wonderful. Right in the center of the bed sore, so that no one can tell. Here we go. Just do enough to ease the pain. Just to ease the pain. That's a little relief, a little float. That's a girl. We're gonna relax. And of course, oh. don't write it in the file. Thank you. You're welcome. You're gonna get a great night's sleep now. I love this tea. Sugar? Uh, no, thank you. Sure. Hmm. So how long have you been doing it? A few years after I took over the center. I mean, Gray is a wonderful doctor, but he's not here in the trenches with us. He doesn't see what we see. And Ed, it just obeys his father blindly. I can't do this on my own, Maggie. It's too much. No one could. I really need you. Yeah, I don't know. What? It's about being humane. I think we owe them this dignity. Maggie, we are their last hope. If we don't have compassion for them, no one will. Yeah, I know. But it's illegal. There are many other reasons why we could be fired, Maggie. We're here because this is more than just a job. Doing what it takes to make a difference here, this is a calling. And I thought that you above all would understand what I'm trying to do. I do. I just don't know if I could do it. I have faith in you. Still have four more tonight. Terrific. Oh, thank you, Nurse Baker. You and this young one are angels. Rachel, we just want you to feel better. Maggie. 
Thank you, Maximine. Uh, yeah, of course. Just getting ready for bed. I, uh, I brought you some morphine for the patients. They need it. And uh, even though I'm a bit of a lapsed Catholic, I've always loved the idea of San Rafael. He's God's healer. I want you to have this. It's perfect. Have a good night's sleep. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you guys? Mm. You seem a little distant. Problems of the heart, maybe? I haven't seen Dr. Ed. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? Well, see, at first I thought it was about Shelby, but that was a while ago, so... Something else is cooking. I know this, well, I can just smell it. Like I smell Teddy here. <laughs> I don't smell, George. I had an accident and I told you about it right away. So don't blame me. That was in this, where did you get it? What are you talking about? That necklace, it belonged to Edna. Baker gave it to me. George, that's wrong. Hi, Dr. Gray. This is Maggie Collins. Um, I think I made a mistake. If you could just call. Who's that? It's the wrong number. Hmm. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. You sure you want to do this, Mary? Please, do it. You ready? Okay, here we go. Thank you. Miss Hill, may God be with you. Hey, Maggie, is that you? You okay? Teddy, what are you doing out here? You should be asleep. I 
piss myself again. Uh, should have told Ann or Paula, what are you doing smoking? Where'd you get this cigarette? I sold him from Stevens. He hides him in his little metal box. All right, let's go upstairs and get you changed. I'll catch a cold. You gonna tell Nurse Baker about this? I saw you. What do you mean you saw him? I saw you give that patient an overdose. You saw me because I wanted you to see me. Why didn't you stop me? I didn't know what to do. No, Maggie. You didn't stop me because you knew deep down inside that what I was doing was humane. Now you've come to clear your conscience. It's not true. Oh, Maggie. Every day you see exactly what I see. The others just block it out. Admit it. You've thought about this. You would ask for this if you were in pain and forgotten. Helping a person this way is a privilege. This act is second nature. We're built for this. Think of Shelby. That. Well, at the end of the day, does that make any difference? I respect life. I'm a nurse. I'm a Christian. So am I. I. Look, at first, I felt exactly as you do. But I promise you, these patients experience no pain. I give compassion only to those who ask for it. It's the same as giving them a bit of relief with the morphine the way I showed you. I don't want to be a part of it. Well, I would never force you to do it. But you still got to ask yourself why you didn't stop me tonight. See much of you lately? Yeah, I've been working the night shift. How'd I give Baker a break? Uh, Baker works too hard. She needs to take a vacation. Yeah, she should go away. Uh, I should go back to work. Maggie, I soiled the sheets. I must have fallen asleep after giving them their meds. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Cyclobenzaprine? 
You're taking muscle relaxants, Paula? It's not what it looks like. Paula, you passed out. You should have been out of here eight hours ago. You could have died. You took too high a dose. I, I, sh I shouldn't have. Maggie, please. I made a mistake. Hey, Meg, you did the right thing. <sighs> yeah, I don't know anymore. I thought I saw her high once, but I wasn't sure, so I kept quiet. You did her a favor. Maggie. So, you turned her in. You think I shouldn't have? No. You did just what I expected you to do. I mean, you have to have discipline to deal with all this. All right, don't be patronizing. You gonna turn me in too? I don't know how I feel about what you do. Why not just give them morphine for the pain? They show animals more compassion than that. Yeah, but their boundaries being crossed. Who makes the rules for all this? Me. Hello, Rachel. How are you today? Why isn't Nurse Baker here today? Well, sometimes Nurse Baker is very busy. It's my birthday. She was going to give me a gift. Well, happy birthday. How old now? 83. Happy birthday, oh. dear Rachel. Nurse Baker. Hello, Maggie. I think you should leave us now. Thank you, Nurse Baker. Now. Do I get my gift today? Yes. Yes, oh. you do, Rachel. Oh. Leave us alone, please. I'm not going anywhere. You're not? Oh. Get out! You're obviously going to be of no use here, Maggie. I'm just going to be another blemish on your pristine conscience, so go. I'm not going to let you do this. Don't you dare. Don't ah, you wait, no. dare! It's my Give me this. Stop it. Don't Maggie, it. stop! Take it. Stop it! <laughs> Just stay in there, get George! I'm sorry I reacted the way I did. I'm... I'm not such an awful person. This is very difficult for me as well. I know it. I just, I can't do it. It's okay. I understand. Oh. Heavens, I'm sorry. But do you understand why I do it? Hey. Uh, George, you think you can cover my shift for a little longer?
Did you sedate Stevens? Yeah. It's his wedding anniversary. He gets very upset. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. He fell. Maybe we can give him a break after his next dose. No problem. Strap him down, just to be safe. first. Please, Mr. Stevens, just one bite. Brave soldiers eat their meals. Why don't we try a drink of water? Be okay. It'll be okay. This is never happening again. Never. How did you do it? What are you talking about? You must have fought back there after the markings. You're making no sense, Maggie. She must have left the mark. Get to the back. Yourself. Who are you talking about?
just finish this and do our jobs. It could have been from yesterday. We were all struggling with yesterday. With You've known all along. I don't know anything. I know he was sick and violent. I can't say I'm sorry to see him go. Come in. What's going on? Nothing's going on, Maggie. God, you shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done what? Stevens. Maggie, you and George are really getting on my nerves. <laughs> Why don't you just go? I told George to give him a break. He didn't deserve to die. That wasn't pity, that wasn't compassion. You're losing it. He hurt one of my best CNAs. It was dangerous. Something had to be done. Look at you. What? Wiring a bonsai? No, you crossed the line. You didn't do this for Anne. You didn't do it for our safety. You did it for yourself. Maggie. He was going to be transferred to a state mental institution. I spared him that. I saved him. Painless, I promise you. I was compassionate. <laughs> Maggie, come on. Don't do this. Don't do this, Maggie. Don't do it. 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 Don't. Me. This is as much my fault as it is yours. We, we, we did the right thing. We did the right thing. Stop it. Who are you calling? No one. You're calling Gray. No, we have to do something. I think she messed up this time. But you know as well as I do that this was the first time. Yes, you do. She's exactly what this place needs. I think, I think things got out of her hand. She was just protecting us, protecting Anne. Well, I can't be a part of it anymore. Maggie, please, think of the patients. They need some compassion. One minute, please. Come in. Anne, how are you feeling? I feel better. You look better. Thank you. Have a seat. So. I don't think that I can stay here. I think I should go someplace else. You're quitting your job here? Well, I, I, I set up something temporarily up north at a nursing home, doing paperwork. I just can't stay here. It's okay. I'm really sorry. It's I'm okay, sorry. it's okay. And please, it's okay. <laughs> it's I who failed you. No, 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 things, things happened. It, I... No, it's not your fault. But I, I should go because Dr. Dr. Gray needs to finish my paperwork, so... Um, I... Thank you. Goodbye, Ruth. Dr. Gray, <laughs> we uh, 
We weren't expecting you so soon. You should have the staff cleaning more often. Let's talk business. I'm sorry Edward's out of town. He should be here for this. I talked to Anne. What's going on, Ruth? Nothing. George, she's not going to stop. We have to do something. I can't do anything. I'm turning myself in. What are you talking about? I killed Shelby. Baker knew. I haven't turned her in because... because I thought it would mean losing my license and a farm, maybe even going to jail, but it just doesn't matter anymore. You can't do anything. Aren't you going to do something, George? I just told you I killed a man. George, I just told you I killed him. I know. I kept a copy of the files. You call the cops. You'll go to jail. You can't do that. Could you help me? Teddy, this is the third time this week. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm starting to get a little impatient with you, Mr. Ted. Stop that. <laughs> Thank you for your goodness, yeah, Nurse I Baker. Cut it out, cut it out. Oh, no. Right, so hold still, hold still. She killed Teddy. Stop eating her. I should have stopped her. Calling the cops. Get a get a sedative from the prescription room. I'll get dressed, but um, get the files first.
happened at Moss Oak Manor Nursing Home. The head nurse, Nurse Baker, killed an orderly and now she's after me. Please hurry up, there's patients here. Scaring me. Please don't put me in this position. No! No! Why? Why couldn't you just learn? Why? Why? Why couldn't you just learn? Stop it, Edna! No! No! Edna! more than just a job. Doing what it takes to make a difference here. This is a calling. 